Hi, I'm Loida Garcia Pivo, and I am going to read 100 Years of Solitude. I picked this book by Gabriel Garcia Marquez because it was written by a Latin American author and because it is a Latin American classic. It's the ultimate and most important work about magical realism. And Gabriel Garcia Marquez is a uh, Nobel Prize winner and he is probably the most popular author in Latin America and, and, and Latinas. Um, the book really gave us an insight into um, some historical facts, but also there's a lot of culture and traditions from Latin American countries. I'm going to read a little passage. They had met two years before they were married, when the sports biplane in which he was making rolls over the school where Amaranta Ursula was studying made an intrepid maneuver to avoid the flat and the primitive framework of canvas and aluminum foil was caught by the tail on some electric wires. From then on, paying no attention to his leg in splints, on weekends he will pick up Amaranta Ursula at the nun's boarding house where she lived where the rules were not as severe as Fernanda had wanted, and he will take her to his country club. They began to love each other at an altitude of 1,500 feet in the Sunday air of the Moors, and they felt all the closer together as the beings on earth grew more and more minute. She spoke to him of Macondo, as the brightest and most peaceful town on earth, and of an enormous house scented with oregano, where she wanted to live an old age with a loyal husband and two strong sons, who would be named Rodrigo and Gonzalo, never Aureliano and Jose Arcadio, and a daughter who would be named Virginia, and never remedios. She had evoked the town idealized by nostalgia, with such strong tenacity that Gaston understood that she would not get married unless he took her to live in Macondo. And I hope you uh, are motivated to read 100 Years of Solitude.